and we're back. Today, we're having a lot of fun because we're actually getting to reap the benefits of sitting on the whatnot auction site. This can and has been dangerous for me in the past, but ultimately I think today is actually gonna be a big win. So what happened was I went on several different auctions I guess it was probably like a week ago because it took a little time for them to ship and get here. But I ended up getting some things that I really wanted and then just some random things that popped up. And because of the deal where once you buy one thing um, from a certain buyer, the next one, the shipping is a dollar, I was able to, I think, secure some pretty good deals. So we're going to go through them real quick, uh, talk about which ones I got and see what they're worth versus what I paid for. So to start with, this bad boy popped up. So what this is, this is actually from uh, the Trolls movie, the Trolls World World Tour, which I have not seen, um, but I do know that Amber is a fan of this one. So you've seen that one plus, and it was the Chase version of it. And the Chase, being the fact that you can see the picture, he's supposed to be smiling in the normal common one, and our branch is actually frowning very much so. I have no idea why, again, I haven't seen the movie, but super cute, and I believe I got him for $7. So seven bucks plus the shipping, which is again the first time it'd be 450 so it was 1150 so 1150 for him we'll see how much he's actually worth ppg wise but i also got one other one on that same auction boom and we got leatherface now if you've been watching we did get another leatherface pretty recently at hot topic but that was the hot topic exclusive so it does pair with this one which i have right down yonder uh, and that's the one where he's got the mallet uh, that's the limited edition one with the mallet, uh, specific to Hot Topic. This is just the common one, but I had not seen this one out anywhere by the time that uh, I was on that auction. And when it came around, I ended up getting for seven bucks plus the dollar for shipping. So I definitely know if I would have gone to the store, pretty much any of them, it would have been more than that. And I don't know what the condition of the box would have been in. And everybody that I've I've bought from whatnot has been really honest and shown. Uh, a lot of the details about the box before you buy it. So this one I knew was going to come in pretty good condition and it did. Moving on from there, the next auction we were on, this one had a couple of the, uh, the bigger things that I really wanted to secure. One of which <laughs> is we've got Cat Wolf. Cat Wolf is one. This was an Amazon exclusive. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be for. I was just discussing with Terry uh, what we think that this might be. The, the What If show is going on right now. That would be awesome if there was a werewolf, uh, Cat Wolf episode of What If, but I'm not sure if it's going to be that. This is one of the 2021 uh, Funko Summer Convention exclusives. This one, I believe, was on Amazon. So you can get it on Amazon. And my buddy Cody, he sent me a code. I think it was probably pretty either late at night or early in the morning uh, since we're on the opposite sides of the country uh, I definitely was asleep when it came I woke up hit it and they were already sold out so and they instantly went up in value pretty drastically so I don't know exactly what he's worth now I know I paid $19 for him so on the auction I seen there weren't a lot of people bidding on him and I was like ooh this could be a steal because I've looked for him after the fact and he's definitely been way north of $19 so I ended up winning him which I was very happy about and again, the 450 shipping, so he was def technically 2350, but I ended up getting two other things from that same auction. So the other thing I got is we've got Fred Flintstone with Fruity Pebbles. So if you've seen before, um, pretty sure it was one of our early videos, we actually got uh, Barney Rubble with Cocoa Pebbles at uh, BAM or Books A Million. And I haven't seen this one actually there. So when I came across this one, uh, and I think I ended up getting him for $12, which is pretty much exactly what I'd pay probably at BAM uh, with the dollar shipping because I'd already gotten Cap Wolf. I was like, you know, let's just go ahead and secure it. Plus it came with the protector, uh, him and Cap Wolf both did. So that's another win because that's another dollar just on top of that. So overall, I definitely he's a cool character and it's going to complete the set that we have because we do already have Marty Rubble with the Cocoa Pebbles. So we'll definitely have to see how that one goes down the line, especially with the value because we noticed that a lot of the Hanna-Barbera and the older, you know, if it's uh, Pebbles and Bam Bam, like a lot of those they just get value, gain value over time or they have. But this is not an exclusive one necessarily, it's just one that's a common but definitely really cool. We, I delved into an area that I haven't really gotten any of before. I've always been very curious about um, Funko Sodas, but I also don't want to really scratch that, that, uh, that whole itch and start to go down a really big rabbit hole with those. So I've been really kind of abstaining from those. I have looked at a couple that very specifically I really like. Like I think I'm definitely going to get a lot of the uh, just horror specific ones uh, and have those for more display because it is kind of cool how those are 
kind of meant to be displayed out of the can, so I like that. But what happened was I was on that same auction where I got Cap Wolf and Fred Flintstone, and this one popped up that was the common and the uh, chase uh, combination. And I've seen those a good bit. I see those on, online all the time for sale. Um, because if you don't know, basically with a, a soda, which let me get it out of the packaging here, with a soda you have odds very similar to with Funko about getting a chase randomly if you order them online. The really neat thing about sodas is even if you order them online versus if you're going into the store, you don't actually know if what you've got is a chase until you open it. So in this case, we had Prince Adam from Masters of the Universe. Seen this one pop up, and again, the cans are pretty cool. They already come in, they're pretty good, you know, stealth, self storage container system that's also you know much harder and more protective than the boxes are so that's kind of neat but basically with this one and you can see how it says on there is you have chance of chase um, in all of them overall this one is oh, okay so this is also huh, unbeknownst to me this is also of the 2021 Funko summer con edition uh, but this is a limited edition there's 1800 total pieces made I believe that's if it's the common one now outside of that that's kind of what the actual cans are, but what I had seen, or the sodas, is I ended up seeing that one, and it came with a package of uh, both, so the common and the, the chase, and the chase version of this one, I believe, is metallic, and, you know, the good packaging that the good people at the whatnot app sent. So, here's the second one. So we got both. Uh, again, I'm not sure which one's the actual chase. We'll pop them out real quick and see. But the cool thing on this one was I've seen the combinations before and I wasn't super familiar with this specific uh, soda. I'd seen it before, but I didn't really know what it was worth or what the, uh, what the chase even looked like. But what I did see was the fact that it was, it was like 15, 16 bucks. And uh, that's where the, the auction was going. <sighs> so this is, this is the common one. Common Prince Adam from Masters of the Universe. And I seen it was at like 15 bucks, so I was like, wow, well I know these are worth way more than that, the, the Chase, even if it's not like one of the more popular ones, although I think Masters of the Universe is a pretty popular one. Then uh, I was like, I'll bid a little bit, plus I already know I have the shipping that's only a dollar. So I ended up bidding, and I had my bid for 19 bucks. And lo and behold, surely it just came right up and I got both of them for 20 bucks, including for shipping. So this is the metallic one, and he is cool. So we have metallic, chase, and we have the common. It's awesome. So these were both 19 bucks, and I know for a fact that they're definitely going to be worth a good bit more than that one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and just see what the PPG value is on all the things I got on the whatnot auctions and see how we did. Again, a couple of them were ones that I've been looking for for a good bit and really just uh, needed to get like the Cap Wolf. So I'm not really worried about how much that one's gonna be worth per se. I'm glad that I got it for cheaper than what it's for sale for, but I'm just happy I got it at all. We're now looking up the different pops that we got on the whatnot versus uh, PPG value for them. So the first one that we talked about was actually the Branch Chase from the Trolls movie. And currently he's sitting at 14 bucks. So the sad or the Branch version or the Chase version with the frowny face. He's 14 bucks and I definitely paid seven plus the shipping. So 11.50 overall, not too bad. So a couple bucks on that one. Plus he's just super cute and he's a chase and I don't really have very many of those. So it's really cool to try and grab at least a couple, especially some that might get value in the end, but who knows, kind of fun. Now we're coming to the leather face. So just the common leather face. This one's value is actually sitting at 15 bucks. And again, I know I paid 12 plus one, so 13 total for him. So again, as pretty much the same I would have paid in store, uh, except again, the, the box itself is good and I didn't have to go anywhere. So moving on to our next auction, we'll start with the Flintstones. So Fred Flintstones with Fruity Pebbles and currently he's setting at 14 bucks. So I know I got him for Fred Flintstone, got him for 12 plus the one, so it's about right for him, uh, about what I paid, but at the same time, I'm just happy to complete the collection, and that might be one of those that rockets in value over time. We'll have to see. During that same auction is when we grabbed Cap Wolf, 
and Cap Wolf is sitting, sitting currently at 40 bucks. So the 2021 Summer Convention Limited sticker, which is what this one is, is 40 bucks. So again, I paid 19. I think he was the first one, so that was we included the shipping on that one, so 2350. It's still almost double the value of what he's theoretically worth. And since I have been on a lot of the other apps looking to actually just purchase them, uh, I will go ahead and vouch that that is pretty true. I have not seen any close to, uh, honestly, even the PPG value. They're more like 50 plus bucks that I've seen online. So this was actually a really good nap for me and definitely an awesome pop. <clears throat> Today, we're having a lot of fun because we're actually getting to read the Captain America as a werewolf. Why would it not be awesome? And why would it not be valuable? I'm okay with that. Okay, so for the Prince Adam sodas that we got, because we got the common and the chase, so I'm gonna go ahead and look those up. So the common is 15 bucks, uh, PPG wise right now. So I paid 19 plus one, so I paid 20 bucks for both of them. So the common one is sitting at 15 bucks. The metallic chase one is sitting at 60. So combined, they're worth 75 bucks and I paid 20 included for shipping. So that one I knew was gonna be a good deal. That's why I randomly just had to click on that one even though I don't really have any sodas. Um, after I got it, I think it was kind of one of the situations where during the auction was going on, somebody was asking a question about another pop that was coming up and the, the, the seller was answering the questions, even like putting another pop or something in front of the camera. So I think people may have gotten a little distracted from what was actually for sale. And when the auction was over, they actually realized they were like, 20 bucks, wow, it's quite a steal, and I think they were right. So we made out quite nice with that one. And overall, on the whole auction, we had a couple which were pretty much exactly what we would have paid for them um, in store, but it's, it's an auction, so it was fun. Plus, it ended up uh, bunching it together with some really cool finds. So overall, I think this was a fantastic uh, auction slash hunt for us, and we've definitely got more coming up. I've definitely got another auction that I went to I think just last night, so probably sometime next week there will be another one that I cleaned out this auction. They had, these, these two, a couple guys had almost 200 Funko Pops that they were going to go through in an auction and there were only like 20, 25 people in the auction. So you could just pop out whichever ones you wanted and they would put it in the queue and I ended up getting most of them between five and ten dollars and the value for those are drastically more than that plus there were ones that i really specifically wanted for my collection so that's going to be coming up so make sure you like share and subscribe to be uh, up to date when these things come out so you can be part of the fun and then you don't have to worry about spending too much money on these auctions you can just do it vicariously through me because inevitably i'm going to keep doing it so enjoy the ride